Ladies and gentlemen, here on the horses, race number four, this evening's fourth race, the first leg of the pick three. This is the seventh leg of the Hill Farms Pacing Series, two-year-old Colts and Gildings, racing one mile a purse, $3,000. Number one is Western Dreamer, owned by the Brittany Farms, Alan Regal Trains, Dave Miller Drives. 1A Western Hero, owned by the Brittany Farms, Alan Regal Trains, with Jeff Fouch. Number two, Oriental Dragon, owned by Bill Sanders of Atlanta, Georgia, Ty Lloyd Trains, Brad Hanners Driving. 2B, Ready Bunny, owned by Bill Sanders, Ty Lloyd Trains, and Drives. From post three, Juarez Hanover, owned by Peter and Gail McCann, Don Carol Lehman of Ohio, Jim Marley's Jr. Trains, with Don Irvine Jr. The four, Bar K. Jesse, owned by the uh, Brevetti Cook Stables of North Caldwell, New Jersey, Melanie Williams Training and Driving. From post five, Swango, owned by Charles Stovall of Lebanon, Doug Stovall Trains, Don Feastera. And the six, Midart Slog, with the Star Country Stable and Benny Holler of Chillicothe, Dan Ader Trains, and do drives. Win, play, show, perfecta, and uh, pick three wagering. Again, this is the first leg of the pick. Seventh leg, Hill Farms pacing series, lining it, moving in. On the back stretch, there they go. And uh, they're off, and it's Juarez Hanover, the first to leave from the far outside. Uh, there goes Ready Bunny. And Ready Bunny surging to the front quickly, takes command. Juarez Hanover to the inside is second. Bar K. Jesse came away third, and from the inside and fourth, it's Oriental Dragon. Two lengths in uh, fifth to Western Dreamer. Another three lengths in uh, sixth to Western Hero. At the rail in seventh is Swango Monarch's Long is the early trail of an eighth. They reach the first quarter mile marker, opening panel. 28 seconds and on the front Ready Bunny calling the shots here by two with Juarez Hanover in second, Bar K. Jesse at 70 to 1 longest shot of the board is there in third then there's a big gap, some three three and a half lengths to Oriental Dragon in fourth, then comes Western Dreamer and now to the outside his stable mate, Western Hero is on the move and Swango will get a perfect trip here, he takes the cover in racing in seventh with Medart's Log in eighth, here's the half 59 seconds and on the front with a lead it's ready bunny they're at 19 to 1 and they show the way here as they swing to the back stretch Juarez Hanover to the inside is second here comes the long shot bar K Jesse moving to the outside and uh, with the cover in racing in five it's Western hero but now he moves to the outside and swings three wide with a burst of speed Western hero is surging to the front and Western hero powers right on by Western hero by two Three quarters, 128 and one, and Western Hero is not looking back. Western Hero by four, by five. Inside, Rennie Buddy is caught by surprise. Out of the outside, Barke, Jesse Swanga will have to go three wide with Lust in an eighth, and it's all over from here. It's Western Hero who will simply coast home, and Western Hero is well on his way to an outstanding career. Western Hero crushing this field in 156 and three. He's followed by the long shot, Barke, Jesse. Then it was very tight for show. It's official. One for perfect is $73, even $73. And tracks out is the winner, number 1A, Western Hero, for the first crop of Western Hanover, out of the great Abercrombie Mayor, Leah Elmerhurst, owned by the Brittany Farms. Of Versailles, Kentucky, Alan Regal trains Jeff Fountain in the Sulky. Well, Western Hero has already shown his versatility, Western Hero coming from well off the pace here this evening in his very first career start. Doing it very impressively. Earning a mark of 156 and 3. Western Hero hoping to follow in his family's footsteps. Certainly appears he's got a good start.